You're listening to Good People, Bad Intentions, the podcast that focuses on fighters and their stories. Join me, Matthew Pine, as we learn lessons not just from in the ring, but on the larger battle of life. gentlemen and welcome to the third episode of the good people bad intentions podcast and today i am joined with none other than the godfather of boxing himself filippo denardo filippo thank you so much for joining the podcast pleasure pleasure and and filippo you're actually the first guest um that we've had from a different country so you're you're right oh. now in italy and it's yes. uh it's 6 p.m. right now. Uh, it's, six, uh, it's almost uh, half past six. Yeah. It's quarter, and, uh, quarter past six. It's really awesome that uh, through technology we can, you know, connect. And, uh, you know, I've certainly uh, been, been watching everything that you've been doing for the last little while. And uh, the first thing I want to comment on, Filippo, is uh, you I, – I really appreciate that you, you give um, – your fans as well as your customers an inside look into what it's like making boxing gloves. You, uh, a lot of times you'll do live shows and, uh, you'll show like, you know, you're, you're build, you're building the glove and you're also talking with them. How long have you been doing that? Cause that's a very unique thing. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, um, basically I would like, I, 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 in the beginning when I, when I start doing that, I, I I'm, my intention was to to um, to show more than what I show, but um, um, today many 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 people try to to copy. You know, there is lots of copy of my product on the market. You know, so um, so I, every time I do some live direct you know while i'm working there is lots of like uh, competitors that's watching like pakistani companies chinese company you know uh, so um i put a limit on what i can show because uh this is it you know then all the process of the making of the gloves i show some part I also have some video, there is on internet some video while I'm sewing and doing things, but um, not too much, you understand? Not too much to let the people understand my process, you know, because a a every manufacturer got its process to making gloves, you understand? And you certainly have a process. Like what I've been seeing through some of the videos that you've been discussing is um, when it comes to your gloves, you um, use a similar process that a lot of car manufacturers use, where you have different packages and plans um, yeah, that you exactly. can really you can really get the glove of your dreams. Um, and and I guess I guess what I wanted to to get into is how long have you been viewing what you do, whether uh, it's been tailoring or whether it's been making gloves as a craft. Like, have you, from a very young age, looked at yourself as a craftsman? Because you are a master craftsman and you're very passionate about your gloves and and the difference between your gloves and other manufacturers. Yeah, but, um, but basically, you know, now, um, let me tell you something. I mean, um, Italy basically uh, is a country that is is being built you know after the 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 the, the second war you know it's been built uh, uh from craftsmanship you understand from all the the product that is made inside of the country you know uh wood product any product mechanics uh, uh and things you know closing textile you know anything um so, at, at, in my generation, 
uh, it was still important to 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 learn a trade. You understand? Um, so I just learned the trade of the family. You know, I come from a family of that from generation to generation he was involved in tailoring business. So I'm I, I, from the age of 12, I, I was already in the lab, you know, playing with the sewing machine, playing with the materials and things, you know, <clears throat> just playing, you know, cutting and, you know, uh, 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 and then like at, um, at the age of... Um, uh, uh, of 15 I was already be able to do things you know then I continue my learning but now the world has changed so um, I don't have I don't have kids all right but today is very difficult that the kids uh, you know uh, so if you have um, kids they want to continue your 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 trade you know because uh, 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 every trade you know it can be tailoring or plumbing or electrician or hammer whatever you know uh, uh, every trade are heavy heavy work you know so now the youngest today they prefer to um, to work with the computer you know that is uh, not so heavy work, you know, you can manage your time. Uh, so that's the things, you know, but in, in my generation, you know, it was like uh, normal to learn a trade. Today, it's, it's gone, basically. I wanted to, to kind of segue a little bit into an interesting topic that involves tailoring. Um, and and maybe you're aware of this, maybe you're not. But um, you, you know the the MMA fighter Conor McGregor. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. So a lot of people attribute him to bringing a lot of awareness to tailoring and the importance of having a good suit for press conferences. And I was just wondering, on your in your opinion, were you a fan of the kind of clothes that Conor the the that he wore at his press conferences, or are you a fan of how fighters now are? Are going to tailors and and getting getting well fitted, well well made clothes. Uh, um, okay, by uh, by aesthetically, aesthetically, you know the 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 the, um, the high high level terroiring, you know, in 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 UK, you uh, people have a semi row. You know that is the the place that is famous for for tailoring, mm -hmm. all right. There is lots of famous tailor over there. Uh, yeah, I mean you can see that uh, uh, the clothing that he wear in his press conference is is well tailoring on his body. You know, so the the the, the craftsman, the tailor that he, he did that is a uh, is a is a master craftsman. You know, uh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, then, if I like those kind of, I don't know. You know, I I, I think uh, I always uh, um, look at fighter. You know, as um, like fighter must be fighters. You understand? So um, when I saw fighters, you know that they wearing like too much uh, like elegant clothing you know former clothing i don't know i it's it, it look uh, I, I i don't like it basically you know i i, I mean I, I i prefer to 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 see them in normal clothing you know not in with tie like like white collar as example you understand so this is it and uh, yeah, but not all of them are like this. There are lots of fighters that they don't care about the things, about the looking, you know. Say, for example, I don't know. I mean, Mike Tyson was uh, like running to the walking to the ring with a towel, you know. <laughs> uh, 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 
yeah, and now if they don't have the, the jacket that suits with the shorts, that suits with the shoes, that is suits with the gloves, and then it's a big mess, you know? So they have to uh, run, in, you know, walk into the ring that they are like dressing for a big, big show, you know? For sure. I, I don't know. I mean, uh, 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 I prefer more uh, like simplicity. Yeah, simplicity is a very uh, important thing. I think a lot of people, um, when they have really fancy things, um, they could get lost a little bit, like you get too much detail or, you know, uh, and, and this actually segues to a really important discussion that I wanted to have with you. Cause, um, I was listening not too long ago, you were talking, um, one of your, uh, followers on Instagram had made a comment about, uh, Katie Taylor's recent signing with uh, oh, yeah. Leona. Yeah. And, exactly. um, you brought up a really interesting discussion because you were saying, well, you know, it's one thing, for a company to use Pakistani gloves um, or, or to say they're made from a certain country when really maybe they're not. But you were talking a lot about the difference between craftsmanship and just branding. Can you talk a little bit about, about that? Yeah, I mean, uh, um, um, I mean, if people watch my channels or everything, I, I never, you know, you will never see marketing you see the, the photos of my product um, um some words under the pictures and and that's it you know so if you go to the to the web to the profile of this kind of company you will see models you know pictures with models with the gloves important fighter with the gloves with their clothing you know that show very well their brand you know so you, you you're gonna see those kind of thing that's that's marketing that's branding you know and i mean marketing basically i i i say in a rude way i mean marketing is bullshit you know it's you you taking something you say all right this is uh is made in this way with this product you put it in the right ends and and tomorrow that product is becoming the best things in the market for that kind of product you understand yeah so it's it just a matter uh, how much money you have to pay models athletes whatever you know and let me tell you something that me i'm coming from uh, from 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 textile business you know from from fashion business you know the, the the big brand like armani like gucci and things you know when they come out with um with a new product you know um uh, in the marketing in the launching of the product uh, they like uh, they invest like uh, half a million all right so in three months all the world know that Gucci is launching, I don't know, new pair of shoes, a new bag, whatever, new jacket, whatever, you know, because that's the air budget for a single product. So if, if you turn this budget half a million, all right, and I'm launching uh, a, a, a bag, a pair of shoes, a, a jacket is one million and a half. You know, because it's half a million for each item, you know. So in, in three months, all the world know that I'm launching a new product. You know, it's, it's a different way. And then, uh, you know, those company is not the, the owners of the company that are doing the product. The, the, the owners of the company, they rely to craftsmen like me, you know, to, to factories to do their money, their, their production, you know, example, when I, when I was a tailor, I was doing, I was working for lots of huge company, you know, making many things, closing for lots of huge company, you know, it's normal. You understand because basically it's not there that they are a craftsman they have the ideas they have the design 
but then they they need somebody that take the design and put the design to reality you know uh, me I, I i'm just uh, uh, mix the two things you know i was able to design and to build up the things you know so i just put together the two things you know would you say are you more of a fan of having like a product that's made specifically for one person versus having like a stock of like 30 of the same glove and giving them out to 30 people or no, I don't think I don't think you have stock gloves right you have no. each one for order no it's just that I'm uh, um it's the way I built I I'm built you know because I'm I'm working alone so uh uh mm, you know when i start uh uh you know many people let me tell you many people i i know many craftsmen in my country and even overseas that they are very talented craftsmen you know uh, um but then during uh, um during the road uh they make lots of mistakes you know so when I start to doing like uh, craft boxing gloves, you know, uh, um, and I and I in my in my in my in my head I I I, um, I already imagine the day that uh, everywhere in the world will start to want my product, you know. Uh, uh, my main issue was all right. So what are going to do then? Because as I'm built, I won't be able to uh, 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 pleasure all the demand if I'm work alone, you know? So I was like thinking how I'm, I'm going to put a, a, um, a, a line, a deadline, you know? And 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 then I just decide to work on custom orders, you know, uh, high value product, high quality custom orders, you know. So face a certain type of of of, of, of clients of customers, you know, that really seeking for 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 something special, you know, uh, and that's it. And in that way, I, I containing the orders. You understand mm -hmm. so that I, I i don't have too much you know i have the 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 what is necessary to go on you understand to pay the rent to buy materials to buy food pay bills you know and for me it's enough it's awesome and i was wondering I I researched a little bit and was there another name before Denardo that your gloves were made under? And I was Mason. just wondering. Mason. 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 And, and what made you transition now to using your family name? Was it so that you can show that the gloves are an extension of your craft and that, that they are pointed towards you as a as a uh, craftsperson? Yeah, but, but basically, you know, Mason's was like... Uh, um, uh, a masonry example was like um, an ideology, mm -hmm. all right. Uh, then I start to working in that period with an American company, all right. And uh, basically, this American company start it did lots of mess with the brand, you know. And uh, and after um, I realize uh, um, what was happening, you know, and I uh, asked to uh, to go out of the agreement that I have with uh, with them, you know, when I go uh, when I went out from the agreement from the from the agreement that we have with this company, and then uh, the mess was already done with the name mm -hmm. so at that time you know uh, i i decide to to use 
uh, my my surname, you know, because it was something private or something that is, was already mine, you understand? So this is it. So I just uh, uh, closed with Mason, changed lots of things and come out with Dinado. Awesome. And um, so now, now what I want to ask you is more about the transition from tailoring to making gloves. Was this... Was this an easy transition for you to do, or did it take some time to, to with with like the type of material that gloves are made with, with leather and stuff, uh, versus maybe like a a, a cotton? Okay, I'm gonna answer you in this way, you know, by telling you a story. All right, so uh, you know that in Italy we have um, two main uh, um, brand that produce sports car, you know, that is Ferrari and Lamborghini, all right? Uh, so, uh, the owner of Lamborghini in that time was doing uh, um, cars for farming, not sports cars. It was doing work cars for farming you know, for farmers, all right? So, uh, but he, he, he had lots of money, obviously, you know, the owner of um, of Lamborghini. So he, he loved the Ferrari. So he, he, he went to buy a Ferrari, you know? Then uh, uh, every time he have problem uh, with the gear, all right? So he went back to the to Ferrari and say, "Yeah, but the gear a problem because I always break." And, and Ferrari tells him that uh, the problem wasn't the car; the problem was him because he didn't know how to drive a Ferrari, right? <laughs> okay. So Lamborghini went back with his uh, Ferrari with the gear brake, you know, broken, all right? And, and, and obviously they thought, yeah, but fuck, I'm making like works cars. I can make sports cars. So that's born the Ferrari, the, the Lamborghini, you understand? Yes. So that's, that in, so the, the transition, if you know how to make one things, you can make anything, you know, if you know how to make a, 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 a jeans, you know how to make a t-shirt, it is the same process, you understand? It, it's just uh, uh, the, 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 um, uh, the transition between one items and another is the model, and the process, the modeling and the process, then you have to know how to do the development of the size, you understand? Then in the boxing gloves, you have something that you don't have on closing that is the weight, you understand? So let's enter to the process, you know, and you can make the process very tricky, you know, because uh, training gloves uh, uh, really doesn't matter, but uh, uh, fighting gloves, uh, uh, if, if if there is eight and ten, and then that's must wait. Yes. You understand? So, um, and the weight has to be done with all the material applied with the gloves, not just the padding, you know? So, the, the anything anything that you use to make that pair of gloves have to bring the weight eight so uh so then you have to take care of the thickness of the leather of the weight of the lining you know everything has to be weighted you know so it's that's is it's more tricky but if you know how to work with the machine, if you know how to do a paper model, if you know how to design a model, it's, yeah, anything becoming easy, you know? It's, it's not a, a huge transaction. So I'm just you know? thinking if you're making like a, a pair of fight gloves and 
your uh, your customers like I want this type of material, whatever. You probably have to do a little bit of mental math, you know, like okay. No, you- but you not now. It's for me. It's a jog. Okay. You know because it, it, I use different letters, but besides that, you know, for me it's just to, you know, example. I have to do some part of the gloves in in certain material. I just have to cut that part, wait it, and I already have the solution, you know, because I also do gloves tailored to the end of the of who have to wear it, you understand? Yes. So uh, everything is, is becoming, it's, it's more, say that it's more easy for me, not for others, you know, because even because me i'm making the padding the padding is handmade you know so that's uh, 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 makes the all the process more easier because when you work with with pre-shaped padding this is like uh, padding foam all right then it's becoming more difficult this you understand and that's that's another interesting topic because um, when it comes to fights, um, mm-hmm. gloves can be a huge part of the, can, like the negotiating process. Now, maybe this is maybe something that's more famous with Floyd Mayweather and his opponents, where you know um, it seems like it seems like the the use of horse hair and gloves has become less and less uh, popular. Um, do you do you use like EVA foams in some of your fight gloves or is it I horse use hair? EVA foam, I use horse hair, I use many different type mm-hmm. of materials, you know, because all the boxer are different. So I have five types of different padding. All right. Uh, um, you know, and, and this is just to pleasure the, anybody, you understand, any mm-hmm. boxer. Then, uh, you know, um, let me tell you something. Um, uh, uh, the, the market is, is changing, you know. So, um, you know, long time ago, long time ago, you can, you can talk bullshit to the people, you know, and things. But now, you know, the, the fan... The people, the white collars that go training in the gym, even the model, you understand, that go to the gyms and train in boxing, you know, like even for, for mental health, for example, that mm-hmm. is in the United States is very popular to do this, you know, self-confidence, you know, mental health and your training in boxing, you know. Uh, 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 you know, they know, they perfectly know that when you see certain gloves use it in by certain people if because that people get paid to use that gloves you know uh, so the the the, the, the in the, the people knows this you know and and and, and this doesn't affect my business nothing you know for me it's not important if boxer use my, my gloves are certified it can be used in professional fights. I work in a certain way because I don't pay anybody, you know. Uh, if you want to use my gloves for me, it's fine. It's your choice. You know, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, you know, it, it's not that you use my gloves and I sell one pair more. You understand? Uh, I, I sell independently of that you use my gloves or not because the people that bought my gloves they continue buy it because they are the best. That's it. And that, and and is people that they have all the gloves in this planet, you know, so they know what they're talking about. Well, speaking of knowing what you talk about, um, three years ago when I started my boxing journey, like a lot of people, I went online and I said, "What? Well, what are the best boxing gloves to wear?" And I'm sure you know this guy because he's recognized you quite a bit. Um, the fit to box YouTube channel. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. He, he had the, the Donardo gloves, uh, for quite a few years as the best glove, um, yeah. that, that he's had. And, um, so you d- certainly are recognized by a lot of people as, uh, having the best quality glove. 
And um, I wanted to, to, to more expand on what you were talking about with, um, you know, athletes, they're sponsored by somebody and, and people know that the reason they're wearing those gloves is uh, because, you know, they're, they're getting paid for it. What do you think about professional boxers um, and winning the, the brand winning? Because it seems like for a lot of winning doesn't, winning doesn't pay, winning yeah. doesn't pay anybody. So, you know, it, it, it's a, a, you know, um, the owner of winning brand um, is a, an old fashioned man, you know, mm -hmm. Japanese, you mm -hmm. know, uh, tied with old principle, you know, uh, and he basically it, there is also some videos on internet he hates those athletes you know because they all the time they call you for something that they want something for free you know for, as a gift you know they like uh, uh, begging you to have a pair of gloves a growing garden Edgar you know or something like this uh, uh, so let me tell you one thing you know one thing if, 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 if look I have few boxers you know that uh, now it's a uh, few years that, that they are with me. They are very loyal uh, to me. They are very respectful, you know. And 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 uh, and if they need something, you know. It's me that sometimes I contact them and I say, buddy, you, you find you need anything, you know, besides the fighting gloves, obviously, you know, so I'm talking about training equipment. Uh, and if they tell me, oh, yeah, I mean, can you make me a, 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 a sparring gloves? I do it, you know, because they are loyal to me. You understand? Um, and because I believe that sooner or later they're going to achieve the top of their weight division, you know, and it's going to be with me, you understand? Uh, then there is other boxers that like, they just contact you, even I've been contacted also from big names, you know, they tell, hello, I'm this, and I'm Dinado, you know, I mean, uh, um, you step into the ring, you earn like 70 million a fight and you want the gloves for free from me and then and plus payment from me that I'm a small craft run and 70 million I will never see in all my fucking life. So fuck off, you understand? You're 100% you're right because it's, it's kind of funny. A hot topic lately is advocating for fighters and their pay. But what about craftsmen? What about people that are, you know, that don't don't see that seventy million dollars? The the people yeah, that are. But look, I mean, you know, fighters. You know, let me tell you, uh, 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 fighters. Uh, uh, they only see their sacrifice. They they risk, you know, to step into the ring. But if they are not paid they will never step into the ring. Let me tell you something. You know, now that, uh, example, Dillian White should be fighting with Tyson Fury, you know, and now they fighting, the, 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 the two promoters, they fighting for what? For, for money. Because the promoter of Fury, they say, all right, the stars is, is Tyson Fury, so I can give to uh, 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 Dillian White, this amount of money, but Dillian White won 10 million, otherwise he won't fight. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, <clears throat> so th this is when I, he gives the right to what I say before, you know, the boxers will never step into the ring if they are not paid. So I'm a craftsman, you know, I don't work for free for anybody. I work if I, I, I get paid, you know, because I work for what is my passion, but for your pleasure. You understand? So yeah. I take, I put my time and make you a piece of art for your pleasure. And you must pay for that. 
you know, because this is my job. This is for me, gloves is a living. You know, I don't step into the ring for living and make 10 millions a fight. We, you know? Hey, you never know. That'd be an interesting fight. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mr. Donardo is coming. He's going to wear his gloves and he's going to punch you in the face because you know, <laughs> that's the next thing with the, because one thing, one thing you do really well is everybody gets hate sometimes. But yeah. what I really love about you and what you do with your brand is you respond to it in a very intellectual, smart, kind way. You'll like make a video and and basically try to educate people about their their opinions. But maybe yeah, in the I mean, future you can to... just box them like, yeah, I'm gonna wear yeah. my glove. And I'll show you how superior my glove is right in their face. I try to 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 tell the people, I mean, the truth, you know, because when people get surprised because one boxer, a certain boxer when wear a pair of gloves, a certain brand or whatever, there is no big big things behind that. There is just money behind there, you know. If you are a, a, a manufacturer or a brand, they, they make a boxing gloves or boxing equipment, whatever, all right? And you have enough money to put on the market and say, all right, these years I want that athlete, that athlete, that athlete. Yeah, you're going to go, you're going to say, all right, uh, rival, what he, what he gives to you? Uh, he gives me this plus this, all right? I give you this plus this. And the box is going to come to you, that's it. Simple and plain is what you can offer. You know, I'm doing quality, I'm doing art. I don't have nothing to offer to boxers, you know, besides the boxing gloves, that's it. So everybody knows that if they want to wear my gloves, they can count on me. It doesn't matter. You know, I speak to anybody, but this is my rules. And if you, and if you disappoint me, we done. We don't have arguments, but you will never have the pleasure, even if you pay me, to have one pair of my gloves because I won't make for you, even if you pay me because I don't need your money. You know, I have one boxer that left me for a huge company, all right, uh, and after a while, you know, because he lose. Uh, uh, a fight, you know, the management of these boxes contacted me privately and asked me and tell me uh, to make the gloves for them. They will pay for the gloves at full price. All right. But I have to, the gloves have to be plain without the brand because when they get to them, they will brand it with the brand of the company they, they were sponsored with, that they, they have the contract with, you know? And I, and I answer to them and I say, look, it's not a matter of money, it's a matter of dignity, you understand? When you decide to step to the other company, I told you, think, because it's not possibility to turn back again, because the door's gonna be closed, you know? So you can pay me even 10,000 pounds a dollars for one pair of gloves, I won't make it for you. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, there is people that doesn't have price. You know, I like to be free. You understand? So I hope you've been enjoying the podcast so far. This is just a friendly reminder to subscribe to the podcast on your preferred platform. That way, when a new episode is released, you will be able to see it first. And also, if you're interested in supporting the podcast, make sure to check out the hats, t-shirts, and sweaters on goodpeoplebadintentions.com. Anyways, back to the podcast. I'm just thinking about that situation. That's almost like asking somebody to ghostwrite a book for you. Like, I don't want your name at all. I want you to do all the work, but I don't want yeah, your... Yeah, but I mean, look, I mean, look that that it's, uh, you know, people don't know, but the, there is lots of dirty things in boxing. And like in all the sports, you know, yeah. when 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 a management or a promoter contact you and, and telling you, look, for for my boxer, you do the gloves in this way, but for the opponent, make a bit empty or a bit more padded, 
you know for my boxer you do it more empty but for the for the opponent more padded you understand there is those kind of things that is happening you know and 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 there is people that making boxing gloves that they accept those kind of things for money mm-hmm. when i receive those kind of offer i always say no i doing what i'm doing if you like my gloves we go on otherwise fuck off so That's otherwise, it. otherwise, when whenever you're doing or conducting your business, you try to maintain yourself and not to sell out or to uh, to do something that other people want but isn't satisfying you you and your your craft, right? Uh, no, 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 look, the th- the things is this, you know. I'm living a, a very simple life, you know. Um. Um, so uh, uh, we we turn back to the the, the 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 kind of dresses of the athletes, you know. So uh, um, you know, boxing is a sports. Uh, 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 of like of people that they have to show that they succeed, you know in life so all their clothing their cars their luxury things is just to show to the people that they make it you understand Mm -hmm. they're basically stupid because let me tell you when you are the champion of the world you don't have to show anything you are on television you know all the world know that you make it you know the world mustn't know what kind of life you live out of the ring, you know. It's enough that you that see you, that you make it. You, you start from little and now you are the, 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 the leader of the, your way division, you understand? So mm-hmm. um, it's not reason to show all those you know, luxury things, you know, to show that you make it, that you have the money. But this is the reason why lots of athletes do this, you know. Well, I, ne- I never thought about it, but a lot of people say the, the mental aspect of boxing is one of the biggest things. And I'm just thinking to myself now, of all the fighters, yeah, a lot of them, they like to have those uh, signs of success or signs of making it. Maybe so they maybe they psych trying to psych their opponent out by saying, you know, you know, look at this. I have this uh two hundred thousand dollar watch or three hundred thousand dollar watch. Yeah, but it's just to show that they make it, it's the show of they succeed. But you know, the show of their success is the bout, they don't yes. need to show the watch, you know. But this is it's mental, you know. Mm. You know, you can change those kind of mentality, you understand. So me. I'm living a simple life, all right? So uh, I don't care, uh, um, you know, I'm doing my job for for passion, for love, you know? Um, and I don't need a, a Ferrari cars or a watch that I don't have basically and, and, and those kind of things, you know, you know, if I want nice clothing, I can make my clothing, you understand. Most of the things that I'm wearing, I make it myself, you know, I, I buy the fabrics and I make it, you know, I know that uh, not all the people in the world have the knowledge to do that. So shame for them. I do. So it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I wanted to ask you this i'm as a fan i'm always curious because you have a very interesting and unique style about yourself you said you you said just said earlier i live a very simple life i'm happy with everything what is the origin of the four leaf clover with because you have the the tattoos you have the four leaf on... clovers mean the unbeatable okay all right so uh, that's the 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 the, the meaning. I like know. that because I think it's a very unique symbol, and I and I do believe symbols are really important for people to go behind. You know, to have a rallying idea or you know whatnot. It's just so, the meaning, the unbeatable. You know, so um, but uh, um, yeah, I mean, I'm living a simple life, but you know. One thing 
is, you know, when I'm walking on the road, you know, I live in the countryside, I don't live in the city, you know, so when I'm walking on the road, you know, and sometimes people watch me and, and ask, and, you know, uh, and people ask me, but, but what, what kind of job you're doing, you know, I'm saying, ah, I'm a tailor, you know, and I'm just tailoring, you know, this is it, you know, I don't talk too much about my work, but, you know, one thing is to uh, 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 show a low profile, you know, uh, uh, and one thing to uh, um, uh, not having knowledge of what you are, you know, in my life, I work, I did things for many huge companies, Dolce Gabbana, uh, Dior, Ralph Lauren, New York, you know, Bottega Veneta is a huge company here in Italy, then making bags, you know. I, you know, here in this country, I think that all the, the huge company, they know my name, you understand? And even overseas, because when they need something special, I'm you the man. You have to go to the godfather. You know, so uh, uh, when, you know, when huge name of boxing contacted me during my, my, my road, you know, uh, uh, and I say, oh, I, I'm this. And I say, yeah, I'm Dinardo. So what the fuck, you know? <laughs> we are in the same level, in different field, you understand? Yes. You are here in the ring, you understand? But I'm here in the manufacturing, you know? So I respect you, but you have to respect me because we are on the same level. You mustn't watch me like you are on the top of the pyramid and I'm in the in the last step of the pyramid, you understand? Because that make me very cross, you know? And, 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 and this because, you know, I show to everybody, you know, this kind of attitude that I'm a simple person, you understand? So people think that they can, I'm, they can like, they can look at me, you know, that I'm, you know, I'm waiting for the big chance. I don't waiting for nothing, you know? And uh, another, another topic, uh, and probably the last question, because I know I, I don't want to take up all your time. Godfather no. of, bo of boxing. Are you a fan of the American movies that, you know, have like an Italian uh, immigrant or, or that like the like uh, mafia Godfather movie. mafia movies? Are you a fan of mafia movies? Of course, I'm a fan of mafia movie. I mean, we, you know, in, in, in my country, you know, uh, um, um, you know, maybe overseas is a, uh, is a taboo, all right? It's something, you know, that people going to look like uh, uh, very, very, you know, bad and, and scary, you know. But, um, I mean, uh, Italy is a country that is built up with a, a mafia fundamental, you know, because the government used the mafia, the, the, the crime to do things, and, and the mafia used the government to do their things, you understand? So we grow up with those, those kind of things, you know, and, 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 and with the rules also that they, I mean, uh, now, not the, 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 the new generation of crime, but the whole generation of mafia have a like, strong principle, you know, uh, faith and family, you know, you understand, but then now it's a bit disappearing, but still, you know. Um, so for, for me, obviously, I love that kind of movie, you know, they talk about... Um, uh, uh, what we done because even mafia is an Italian invention that being then exported around the world. You understand? So that's you it. should. I mean, when when you talk about the the different crafts and and aspects of it, Italy, I can I know for a fact you're very proud of where you're from, and and it shows through sure, because sure. Um, it, Italy does have a history of excellence, and you're you're it's funny uh maybe maybe if you were in another country or something like that you'd be like oh you would stand out but you're in a you're in a country that's has so like is known as the pinnacle for almost every category 
you from United States, correct? Uh, Canada. Yeah, from Canada. All right. Let me tell you something. All right. I'm telling you what I think about. Uh, you know, every country besides the history that they have, you know, uh, uh, Italy have almost 200 years of history. Of history all right. So uh, we have the Roman Empire. We conquer all the fucking world, you know, then we lose it, whatever. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 so United States, for example, uh, uh, is the capital of like cinema, movie, marketing, technology. All right. This is their business. All right. But when it comes to textile, manufacturing, cars, uh, 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 food, and then please, you can talk about this kind of country because in my country, we have the best food and the best product in the world, you know. That's why all the people want to dress Italian clothing, eat Italian food, and, and all those things, you know. And even the, the huge name of cars like Audi, BMW, all the inside of the cars and the outside the specs and things is made in my country and then exported to Germany, you understand? So this is it. You know, we have the best manufacturing, we have the best product, we have the best food, we have the best wine, we have the best cheese, we have the best vegetables, we have everything. You know, the problem of this country is the politics, you know, and the taxes, because we pay a really huge taxes here. We pay, uh, in Nova Scotia, it's 15% terminized. Yeah, is here it, we pay, it? no, here we pay like almost 70% of taxes. Really? Yes. Like if you were going to the grocery store, like, and you bought something, is there taxes on that? There is taxes that there is, there is 22% of what? Wow. And I thought and, I had it bad. And, 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 and only, only the people that they have a company, uh -huh. they can take advantage of what? But the people that they are private, they can't take advantage of that, like in the United States or, or maybe in Canada, I don't know. You know, so only people that they have a company that can take advantage of that, you know, and can reduce that from the declaration, you know. I was thinking, and what, what are some, some uh, signs of Canadian excellence? I was like, maybe maple syrup? <laughs> no, look, I, I, no, no, example, I tell you something, you know, maybe there is some clothing that is made in Canada, you know, for winter. Canada goose? Canada goose is, is yeah. good. It's very good. Yeah. You know, you know, my wife is Siberian. Uh -huh. Right. So the cold. For <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. So for for Christmas, she she call her mother and and uh, she ask her mother to 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 buy certain clothing, you know, a, a special clothing that is made there, you know, for the for winter, you know. And when they come here, I mean, look, I'm a tailor. I can see when when behind that product there is a fucking a, a very value craftsman, you know. I can see the, the the quality of a product, and and when when it gives me those kind of products, I say, oh, yo, this is very good, you know. But then is the, the, a problem, you know. As I told you, I know many good craftsmen, you know. But then is not uh, uh, making the good product is then having the, the heart of selling that make the difference. If you don't have the art of selling, you can make anything. You will never sell it to anybody because you don't know how to sell your product, you know? 
as I told you, I'm complete. Because when I was a tailor, I have to stay also sometimes in the shop and, and, and talk to the people that enter the shop to buy the clothing, you know, so take the measure, talk to them, you know, advise them what is good, what is not, the right fabrics, you know, because like in, in the period that was was people that was enter maybe in winter and say, oh, for Christmas, I'm going to go uh, to have a safari, you know. So they need to have a, a dress made uh, uh, with a fabric that was good for that kind of climax. You understand? Mm -hmm. That is uh, uh, very hot, you know. So you have to advise them, you have to sell them the best, you know. So you can, if you are just uh, 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 a man of a workshop, you're going to stay a man of a workshop, you understand? Because you will never, uh, uh, then you, you know how to make a, the product, but then you don't know how to sell them. So that's why most of the craftsmen, they do product for others, not for themselves. Certainly. And, and I, think, I think, again, as I've said uh, throughout this interview or whatnot, uh, you are a master of of convince at least you've convinced me and I'm sure you've convinced other people about like you, you're educating you're you're not just like oh saying this BS marketing BS but you're educating about other manufacturers about your your process um you're you're talking and, and engaging with your um clientele on a level that's unspoken of I mean I don't think somebody from Everlast, like you, you ever get to talk to the people that make the Everlast gloves and be like, oh, you know, have a. No, you know, but no. you know, Everlast, uh, you know, Everlast in 2008 was in a bad situation about the, 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 the financial collapse in the United States, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, it was absorbed from uh, uh, Lonsdale. UK. Oh, you know. I did not know that. Yeah, now Everlast is UK company. It's not mm. an American company. The brand is American, you know, but the management of the brand is is Lonsdale UK. All right. So it's like Fiat Chrysler in 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 yes. in, in United States, you know. So Fiat get all the debit that Chrysler have in United States. And now Fiat is the owner of Chrysler. You understand? So it was the same things, a joint venture, all right? So, uh, uh, but they are, they are multinational, you understand? You know that like in UK, Everlast is buying and pay any athletes you know, that uh, 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 he, he thinks it is worth it to pay, you know, that it's, it's unbelievable. In in few years, that is lots of athletes that was wearing certain bread and turns to Everlast. You understand? It's unbelievable. You know, they have the money to pay anything and anybody. The same things is doing Adidas, you know. The craftsman, he can't compete with those kind of, people you know that they are multinational they they make hundreds thousand of gloves every year and they sell hundreds thousand of gloves every year everywhere in the world so when you making money that is a is a question when you making money you making money when <coughs> you make a product that is cheap and that everybody everywhere in the world will buy. So if I make, uh, 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 um, uh, this is a lighter, all right? If I, if I make this lighter and this lighter costs one euro and one million people gonna buy this fucking lighter, I gonna have one million euro. Mm -hmm. This is how people make money. You won't make money when you do a gloves like mine that costs 1,000 and a half euro, you know, $1,800, you understand? You will never make money because not 
everybody's going to buy that product. You're going to make money when you're doing something like this cheap that everybody's going to buy, you know? So, so here in reality, you know, because I've been insult, you know, and things about the cost of my product, you know, so here is the people that work just for money, you know, the company that make those kind of product that they just interesting in the profit. All right. All right. Not people that doing my job because to make in a boxing gloves, I, I have to work 12, 14 hours. All right. To make your boxing gloves for all your, for your pleasure. So you can go to the gym and be nice and be handsome. All right. With my gloves. I tell you, you, you do look handsome when you have Donardo gloves. I tell you, there, <laughs> there's something about them. I think it's the, you have some really good color combinations. You have like, uh, like you, the, the one that you recently posted, you'll have like, uh, like, uh, like a pattern in the glove, but then you have the color. And, uh, of course the four leaf clover is just like a very classic, simple. Um, yeah. But now the new year, I'm gonna make a, 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 a second line, Ooh. right? This is a like a preview. I'm gonna I'm gonna yep. publish soon, all right? Uh, uh, because I'm I'm waiting. I already did the prototypes, but uh, uh, I'm waiting for the new logo, all right? Um, um, it, that is gonna be like mixed colors as my choice from uh, 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 um, any, any kind of animal leather, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's not gonna be the first choice of leather like the first line, all right? Uh, so I'm gonna mix the color based on, on the leather that I find, all right? Uh, and, and a pair of gloves gonna cost around 500 euro, all right? Oh, wow. Uh, um, with a nice logo on, always a Dinardo gloves, all right? Obviously you don't, you won't have everything that you have when you buy the first line that you have the gloves, you receive the bag, the leather bag with the gloves, you receive the creams to, to, to uh, because people say, yo, 1,500 euro, yeah, but, but you have lots of things, you know? When I see like those kind of company like Leone or Fly, they, they give you the gloves in this box, in this carton box, you know, sometimes they say, yo, it's, it's more the cost of the box than not the cost of what inside of the box. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so, no, when, when right. you buy my gloves, you're going to receive the gloves in, uh, in, in a plastic bag because I'm a craftsman. So, you know, the packaging is a very simple packaging, you know, but then together with the gloves, you're going to receive a nice leather bag casing, you know, where you're going to put your gloves. All right. You're going to receive the leather care uh, balm that is a cream with who you're going to, with what you're going to take care of the leather of the gloves. Uh, uh, you're going to have the, 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 the free, the first uh, 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 padding replacement for free. So free of charge. Uh, you have you have a free shipping cost, so you have lots of things. You spend a lot, but you have lots of things. You have a full customer service, you know. With the second line, you don't want to have those kind of things. You're going to have the gloves. You're going to buy a cheaper price, you know, but you're going to have just the gloves, you know. I appreciate you and giving gonna be, And it's going to be ready for delivery, so you don't have to wait. Oh, wow. Mm. Um, no, I really appreciate that preview. Um, just in closing, um, what's the best way, way for people that are listening that, um, want to get in contact with you? Is it through your Instagram page? But people contact me from various channels, WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram. I hate when they contact me through Facebook or messengers because there is no channels that I use so much, you know? So sometimes I, I find some message, you know, that maybe on, on Instagram, no, on, um, I'm sorry, on Facebook, on Messenger, that I maybe is like one week older, 
you know, because it's not a channel that I use so much, you know. So I prefer people most, um, the, the, the majority they contact me from the website. So they get inside of my website, they, they send me a message and that's it, you know, uh, and then I answer them. Uh, and then there is the second channels is uh, surely Instagram. But when I answer from Instagram, I tell them to contact me from what's to from WhatsApp or, or Telegram because you know through Instagram I can send any kind of PDF file or documentation. You know the letter color and things like that. You know so we have a limitation in 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 talking through Instagram. You know, through WhatsApp or Telegram, I can send any any files. You understand, so it's easier. You know, files, photo, pictures, anything. You know, on Instagram I can't. You know, or maybe Instagram doesn't allow you to to send a, a PDF files documentation. You know, so just image. You know, that's it. Well, thank you so much there, Filippo. Um, and I, I never even said this at the beginning, but happy new year. Um, you too. You yes. Too. I really appreciate you being gracious with your time because I know you you are a busy craftsman. Um, and yeah, I, I think we had a really interesting conversation and uh, I look forward to talking to you in the future. Um, I, sure. I have the plan of, of having one of your uh, gloves in the future because um, I like I said, when you, I started boxing like three years ago and I watched that fit to box uh, YouTube channel and I saw the review of your gloves. I was like, man, those are some really good looking gl <laughs> gloves. And he was saying how, you know, he was comparing them to winning gloves at the time. And he was like, yeah, like it's, and, and those, and by the way, like how we were talking earlier, like people think winning's the best glove, but it's not. It's Denardo. Denardo is the best glove. Winning is a is a look. It's a very very. You know when when you when you when you when the first times that I that I grab a winning on my hand and then uh, in that kind of gloves and you can see the the master craftsmanship. Okay, so we have we have. Uh... A respectable alternative winning yeah, but because i mean look i mean i'm i'm not uh i'm not jealous about the other brand you know if i have a gloves in my hand you know uh, um i also write a book when where i i gave a, a rating to to other people to other gloves you know uh, when I see a, a, a craftsman that is a good craftsman, I tell them, I'm, I mean, I'm happy to even talk to them, you know, and have a, a, a diplomatic conversation, exchange of, of, uh, um, of vision to other craftsmen. But it must be a craftsman on my level, because if you are not a craftsman and you want to tell me something about my gloves and then I fuck you up bad and solid. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much uh and yeah. and i really appreciate it and and i'll have to have you on again and and i i really had a good time so okay thank you so much ciao okay bye 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 bye, bye. take care bye -bye. you too bye bye